Hi, this is the SQL Server Reporting Services portal that allows you to have web-based web reporting. So we would basically, we would hook this up to any uh, data source like SQL Server and uh, have a web-based reporting portal. And um, here you can see we have like a folder directory structure. So you see the different folders. I'm going to click on company reports. And so you can design this however you want. You could have accounting reports, operation reports, um, executive reports, dashboard reports, however you want it. Here within the individual folder, we have different reports themselves. So I'm going to click on company sales. And then when I click on company sales, what this does is this now um, renders the report itself. So this goes out and hits the database and pulls the data into the report. So here we have our report and we can drill in, drill out, drill in, drill out. Uh, we can adjust the zoom. And so this is what's really nice about SQL reporting services out of the box you get this nice toolbar that you can adjust the zoom um, the parameters up here can or the filters that you pass in the report can be changed so like if we want to uh, we can we can make the parameters or the filters wherever we want so they right now they're date ranges if we want to make these um, a client name a salesperson a quarter a region whatever we want we can make these parameters up here at the top, anything. And then you choose a different parameter, and then you can rerun the report. And it goes out, hits the database, and brings in fresh data. We can come in here and we can export the report to uh, CSV, a PDF, so you can print it. So it has pagination. So um, it will be paginated, um, Excel if you, or Word. So if you want to export it to Excel or Word, and specifically Excel if you want to do more data manipulation on it. Uh, let's go back here to our breadcrumbs trail, home company reports. I'm going to click on company reports, and we see we get back our reports again. And let's run a different report. And run sales trend here and this is a nice report that shows us how we can drill into uh, different reports from the above master report so let's say if we're looking at Q2 uh, for locks we want to drill into that now we get another report basically with the detail of that um, for the employees um, uh, that were selling um, for those for lock and uh, for uh, Q2 so let's drill into a specific employee maybe we want to see what's going on with their sales maybe they're high or low let's look at Jillian Carson and we can see for Jillian Carson we can see um, her sales over the year um, and we can see uh, various sales orders that she put in so this is all completely customizable um, as far as reports and um, you can come in here and uh, build these reports however you, however you like let's go back to our company reports and uh, let's look at our sales order detail here and so this is another example of a parameter at the top. You can choose a specific sales order and rerun the report. And your report is generated here. And now again, I could, I could export this report um, or do whatever I want with that. So this is just, just a, a general example of the power of SQL reporting services that comes with SQL Server.